Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The Egyptian army seized power in 1952 and has not relinquished it. And everything we're talking about needs to be seen against that background. We've had in the current government a more repressive regime than we had under Mubarak. Mubarak never ordered the gunning down of unarmed demonstrators. And yet all of the repressions, whether of, uh, of journalists, of civic society, or of opposition groups in Egypt, are things that we effectively turned a blind eye to when we sanctioned the coup in the first place and refused to call it a coup. And these repressions do not become justified simply because Sisi has made a good speech in Cairo about the need for reform of Islam or simply because he's normalized relations uh, in Israel. On the contrary, if we set up as the only antonym to Islamism a basically autocratic government, then we, uh, we kill the prospects for the development of moderate conservative democracy in the Muslim world. We give people the wretched choice between generals and mullahs, which has been the curse of that region for two generations now. They, the, the people of Egypt deserve better. Thank you.